Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know. Let's hear what God is saying to us today. Psalm 3, verses 1 to 3. O Lord, I have so many enemies, so many are against me, so many are saying, God will never rescue him. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me. You are my glory, the one who holds my head high. Some of the Psalms have a brief introductory note, and this is one of them. It tells us that it was written when David fled from his son Absalom. This was possibly the most tragic moment in David's long and eventful reign. Absalom was a great favourite of David and much loved by the people as well. He was handsome, charming and loved all the pomp which went along with belonging to a royal family. He drove a magnificent chariot with 50 men running in front of it. However, tragically, he was determined to take over his father's throne, leading a rebellion which forced David to flee from Jerusalem in fear for his life. Can you imagine anything worse? It's bad enough to be attacked by your enemies, but for David to have his much-loved son turn against him must have been a crushing experience. David stood back from this disaster and reflected on where his true security lay. He knew God was the one who gave him lasting security and that he would hold his head high. The Bible never pretends that life is easy. From beginning to end, we meet people who struggled. Look at the life of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, Moses, Joshua, any of the prophets. Look at the life of James, Peter and Paul. Each had their struggles, but they all knew that their ultimate security was in God. Paul described this most powerfully in Romans chapter 8, where he wrote this, I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries for tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or on the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. That's what I would call ultimate security. It's news that should lift all our heads up high. So let me ask you a question. How does your security in God affect your thoughts and plans for the future. And now let me lead you in a prayer. Lord God, we thank you that in this insecure world, we can have complete security in you. Thanks for listening. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. The talks are also available on podcasts, which you can, of course, access at any time. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and a great deal more besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. Do hope you have a great day.